Akasha Joma mbaya ya cloud sas. Welcome to BTG. BTG. Oh, is a big fan of quick news, ready news, breaking news. Subscribe. Subscribe. BTG. BTG News. BTG. Kwani ni kesho. Gang gang. Good morning and welcome back. Now can you talk about Young Rich and Famous movie which has been rocking our airwaves for the better part of the weekend and come yesterday that was on Sunday of 20th evening the movie was trending in Kenya number one. Now talking about this movie it has brought some excitement and disappointment to people on equal measures. In talking about excitement well people have got to love the drama which is in the movie, the acting, Damon Platt now and Zari are in it and you guys already know that they are still in hearts of very many fans you feel me and talking about disappointments well people think there were many people who were omitted in this movie and talking about Kenya itself well many people thought that the one and only Annalisa Mugai was supposed to be in this movie and there was a poll which was going on online where one platform came to ask whom do you think in Kenya would have taken part in young rich and famous movie and some people would not stop commenting Annalisa Mugai until she came to and responded and guess what she said well she revealed that she was contacted by an email you know to participate in that movie but guess what she turned it down bro and i don't know whether we should read that comment from her or we should go with what fans had to come and say let's read the comment now when Jiro woman came to and said personally i think Annalisa Mugai yeah this fan thinks Annalisa Mugai is the one who would have taken part part as a Kenyan in young and rich movie and Annalisa Mugai responding to her she came to and said when Jiro woman and no all jokes aside they sent me an email asking if I was interested to be in it but I turned it down bro and I guess what after this lady came through and revealed that that is Annalisa Mugai and Nairobi because you posted on their Instagram page fans were not having it yeah they were saying she should come through when post that email so so that they would believe otherwise well that was just some noise from her you feel me yeah they were not believing what she came going to say that they contacted her and stuff bro but if indeed they did contact her and stuff well you guys already know that the Kerocha family they like to maintain their stuffs under wraps bro yeah they don't like to publicize their personal life and probably that could be the main reason why this lady and Elisa Mugai turned down that deal from Netflix and stuff bro but i don't know what do you guys think do you think she was really contacted by the organizer of that movie and stuff or she was just copying Well, go ahead and tell us down in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, hablisky.ke and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.